Kuya! Ayaw kami pa-park ni Kuya. Tapos sabi ko, sa YouTube po kami. Sabi niya, ay oo, sa YouTube pala. Hindi siya nag-subscribe your soul. Today is my first ever creator's camp for YouTube and I'm such a big sucker for um, workshop and YouTube is a field that I'm trying to learn. It's such a fun platform and landscape and I'm so excited to learn a lot from those who have established their own channels already. So, ito gumagawa ko ng kape kasi ayoko makatulog habang nag-workshop. This is my beautiful driver for today. Hello YouTube! Yes! Saan ba tayo? Sa Pasay. There's just a scratch on this side. But after that, I was like, I don't know how to drive. Kuya! Kasi ano, <laughs> ayaw kami pa-park ni Kuya. Tapos sabi ko, sa YouTube po kami. Sabi niyo, ay oo, sa YouTube pala. Akala ko naman, we're at the wrong world trade center. Okay, sabi ko. Kaya nga sabi mo, hindi pwede. Wala, bakit ako hindi pwede? Saan world trade center ba? Tama naman pala. Had na kami. So finally we're inside and I'm so excited to eat! Hey, we are here the first time in the Fat Nest Creator Camp of YouTube. And here with me is Infinite Mama Billy. Hi! Okay, why are you wearing your snorkel? Because you want. I miss you! So hi, I'm back here at home after a long day at the World Trade Center. I'm trying to learn as much as I can from the YouTube FanFest Creator Camp. It's my first time like I said earlier. Um, excuse me, he's there. I'm trying to tell them um, what happened to my day. So, I learned a lot. Can Mama just tell them her story? Can you listen also? Well, for one, I really, really loved... Uh, so, I really, really love Mikey's three points. But maybe the reason why I liked it because it's pretty much applicable not only to YouTube but to a lot of things that you would want to try nowadays, especially in the age of new media where everything is pretty um, unpredictable. I think that what he was describing, the three points that he had, really more of agility. The ability to change anything. Like if you were going a certain way and find that when you put out your content, hindi naman pala work parang you must be able to change strategy right away so that entails agility he called it flexibility the other point that he made was that every video that you put out there is a case study you're not launching something that is actually a final product right away you need to put out expert yes what you put out there are actually experiments. And when you experiment, you put it out there so you can have insights about it. And I really love this point when he said that every video you put out there is a case study. This is last. Ano ba yung point niya na last? Let me check, 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 let me check. Let me check. So I don't see it here. So yeah, but I love this talk all in all. And then I also like Nate Puntalan. I've known Nate ever since he was like a little boy. So I'm friends with his mom. I've also known Janina. And to see him um, become his own person and just be so successful in what he does. Um, of course, I like his three points as well. So Nate, I'm so proud of you. You did so well. So I also like a lot of the answers that I got from the panelists. For one, I think it's great being practitioners on YouTube. They know the struggles it is very real to them their answers resonate with the people who are like us starting to create starting to build a community so many of these thoughts they were able to articulate so Will Dasovich was saying that beginning is the hardest part and that is so true I think that for somebody like me who's just beginning and you're looking at the numbers like did they like this or parang, what are their reactions it really is the hardest part because you're totally clueless and you don't even know 
what's in store for you in the coming days, right? Also, success is not immediate. Success is not instant. So, may part of you na mag-iisip na tama ba itong ginagawa ko? Should I even continue doing this? Or when you stop says, success is challenging yourself. I love, 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 love his answer about success because I'm the same way. I think that success is something that you can only establish by wanting to go beyond what you were able to do before. And I think that's what's exciting me about this entire YouTube journey that I'm on. It's a totally different platform. It's making me want to go beyond myself. It's not about me having a lot of followers in other platforms, but it's me trying to see there is a community here. Paul Soriano said that the success you see is a product of numerous failures. And he talks about the things that didn't work before, before one thing finally worked. And I like that again because I think it's very relatable to me. I can see that, you know, I've, I've put content out there and I'm thinking that mm, maybe that's not really what he like. But oh, I could have done more of this in this video or like I'm learning that probably this part really doesn't communicate very well. And if you think about it, those are like mini failures towards uh, a refined me. Yeah, so I super believe in what he said. I think they were really able to connect with us. And I really had fun also just being with Justin, Infinite Mom Abilities, learning with her. You know, we want to be serious about these things, but we also don't want to overthink. We want to create good content. But also at the same time, don't be too serious now. You're overthinking now and it robs you of the joy of creating. If there's anything that also spoke to me in that um, creator camp, it's being surrounded by the young people. Young people, you inspire me a lot. Seriously, I really do believe in your ability to innovate, your ability to create new things in new ways. And I'm just so inspired by what you guys do. They just know how to connect, they know how to create, and they know how to evolve. Which are the three words that YouTube actually started with? Connect, create, evolve. And and I guess for this season, that, those are gonna be my three words too. And so if you wanna join me on this journey, subscribe your souls. Maybe five years from now, we can look back and say, hey, that was a good start after all. Or maybe, hey, I shouldn't have started out that way. But whatever it is, what matters is that I tried. That's it. Until the next creator cap, I guess.